In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to solve reverse Polish notation uh, equations using stacks. In the last video, we converted infix to postfix or reverse Polish notation, uh, and now we're going to solve reverse Polish notation. Um, there are a couple things you may want to know before you begin this video. You must know how RPN and stacks work. If you know how they work, this video will be a lot easier to understand if you know those uh, two things. Now the golden rule here uh, to solve these accurately is uh, for each operand or operator, you're going to need a single column. It's okay to make your column higher than you think you need to, to accommodate the numbers and calculations going into the stack. Let's take a look at what we mean by that. In our first example, we have 21, 6, plus 3, 4, minus plus. Now this should come out to 26, and the reason we have that there is so you know what we're uh, working to. If you look right here, it says you need a column for each operand or operator. We just said that was the golden rule. In this equation, we have seven total characters. We have 21, 6, plus 3, 4, minus plus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, 21, we're counting as one character. So we have seven columns, and all of this represents the same stack. As we move from left to right, all we're doing is updating the stack. This is a visual representation. That's what we're doing. This first row down here, which shows our uh, RPN equation uh, normally doesn't show up. It's best to go ahead and tack on an extra row so you can see what's happening as you move through the equation. Also, it allows you to make sure you didn't skip over anything uh, by accident. It doesn't take long to add um, this extra row. It's great just to make sure you've done everything uh, correctly. So this row we've added on. This is not our. St this is not part of the stack. The stack are these uh, four boxes right here. So let's go ahead and start. So we know in the first part of our uh, RPN uh, equation, we have 21. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add that to our stack. We have 21. In the very next part, we have six. We don't add six right here because we're updating the stack. The stack had 21 in it, and now we're adding six. We're pushing six to the stack. Now we come to our first operation, the plus plus sign. It wants us to add the two items at the top of the stack. Well, the two items, the only two items in the stack are six and 21. When you pop these from the st stack to add, you do not do six plus 21. That is not how it works. It works popping this item out first, which is six, the operation, which is the plus sign, and then we pop the last item, 21. Now you may be saying, well, 21 plus six, six plus 21, it's the same thing. And you are correct, it is, and we know that, but it's important when you go to subtract or divide that you're dividing in the right order. So let's go ahead and update our stack. We know 21 plus six is 27. Here we have three, uh, an operand. We update the uh, stack. Now remember, my stack had 27 already from the last one, so we're gonna push three. Then we come to another operand, four. My last stack, or the previous stack uh, before it was updated was 27, three. Because we have an operand, we push that to the stack. And then we have uh, our operation, which is the lat, we use the last two numbers, which is uh, four and three. Now this could come out to four minus three or three minus four. And those are gonna give you two different values when you run that equation. So we gotta make sure we pop it uh, correctly. So the first item gets popped, that is the four. We put in our operation, which is the minus, and then we pop the last item, or the last of these two items, which is a three. And three minus four is negative one. If I did this the other way, four minus three, I'd end up getting the wrong answer. So now I'm gonna update my stack. We had 27, which wasn't uh, part of the evaluation, and then we have negative one. Now the last part here is to add these two numbers uh, together, it wants us to add these two. So I pop it out correctly, which is negative one. I put my plus sign, and then I put my 27, and 27 plus negative one is 26, and we know that that is the right answer because it should come out to 26. That is how uh, this works. Now that you know how it works, I strongly suggest on example two, six, three, asterisk, which is multiply, four, five, 
minus minus two plus, you can pause the video here and give this one a try. Okay, so uh, you had a chance to try, let's work through this. And it's very important that your columns uh, match uh, mine because uh, if you're taking a college class, uh, a lot of times when you have to work through the stacks uh, like this, the, you have your columns uh, must match. So look, we already have our equation uh, written down here. We have enough columns, so now we can work it out. So we're gonna start at the beginning. We have an operand, which means we just push that to the stack. We have another operand again. Now remember, the six, well, all we're doing is updating our stack. Each of these columns represents the stack. And as we move from left to right, we're simply updating uh, the stack. So we're gonna push the three to the stack. All right, now we have a uh, multiply, and this comes out to look like this. Three asterisk six. Six times three is 18, so we can put that uh, in our stack. We move over, we see we have an operand, so we're gonna update the stack by pushing a four. And then I have another operand, I'm gonna show the previous stack, which was 18 and four, and now I'm gonna push the five. And now I have a subtraction, which means I need to subtract these two numbers. I wanna pop them out correctly, so that's gonna be five, my subtraction sign, and then my four. Four minus five is negative one. So I'm gonna go ahead and show my updated stack. I have 18, that was not involved in the last uh, calculation. Four minus five is negative one. Now I have another minus, and I need to make sure that I pop this correctly. So negative one minus, and then I pop my 18. Now the rules uh, do apply. When, you have, when you're minusing a negative number, this becomes uh, one positive. So 18 minus negative one is actually 18 plus one. That comes out to 19. Then I have an operand here. My previous stack just had 19. I'm pushing the two to my stack. I have to add these two numbers. I'm gonna pop them from my stack. Two plus, and then my 19. 19 plus two is 21, and 21 is your answer. So we're gonna move on to example number three. Here, I strongly suggest you pause the video. Our characters are, uh, thir whoops, characters are 1355 asterisk plus eight minus, and we have that written here. You can go ahead and pause the video and give, a ch and give it a try. Okay, so you should have come out with uh, an answer. Make sure yours looks like uh, mine. We can work through this a little faster. We have an operand, that's gonna be 13. I move my 13, uh, I show my 13, I'm not moving it over. This is the same stack, we're just updating it. And I'm gonna push that 50. I come to another operand. I wanna show my stack from the previous one, which is 13 and 50, and now I'm pushing uh, the five. I have my multiplication here, so I'm gonna multiply these two numbers together. And when I write it out, it's only gonna take me a few moments to make sure I'm writing it out correctly. That way I'm always coming up with the right answer. Uh, 50 times five is 250. So that's gonna go here, and then I'm gonna show my last, uh, from the last deck, which is 13. Now it wants me to add these two numbers together. So I'm gonna pop that out correctly. So uh, 13 plus 250 is 263. Now it wants me to uh, tack on this eight, my 263. And then I'm pushing the eight, and now it wants me to do eight, and put my subtraction, and then 263. And 263 minus eight is 200. 55, and that is our answer. Now this is a Cambridge question. This is from uh, 2016, uh, paper three. I believe it was uh, region three 
uh, again. Um, I think it was in uh, November. It doesn't really uh, matter. So it says an interpreter is executing a program. The program uses the variables W, X, Y, and Z. The program contains an expression written in infix form. The interpreter converts the infix expression to RPN, and the RPN expression is this right here, X, W, Z, plus Y, minus asterisk. The interpreter evaluates this RPN expression using a stack, which we just did. The current values of the variables are W equals 1, X equals 2, Y equals 3, and Z equals 4. Simple enough. Then it says show the changing contents of the stack as the interpreter evaluates the expression. The first entry in the stack has been done for you. Okay, so we take a look and the first thing we want to do is we want to count the number of characters, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and they have given us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. We have exactly what we need. Now, you'll notice what they did not do for you was they did not write down this expression. Uh, and it only takes a few moments to do that because we don't want to look up here, misread something, and miss some easy uh, points. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, substitute out these variables for the actual values. So we have w equals uh, 1, x equals 2, and uh, x equals 2 is my first one. So I'm going to write 2 here, and they've already done that for us. Then I have w, w equals 1. Then I have z, z equals Four. Then we have a plus sign. After the plus sign, we have y. y equals 3. Then we have a minus, and then we have a multiply or the asterisk uh, symbol. And remember, we said we want to use asterisk because if you use x, x could be uh, used as a variable, and that's what they did uh, right here. So now that we have this, we can go ahead and uh, solve it. So my stack had 2 from the previous one. It wants me to push the one, so I do. And then we need to update our stack. Our stack had two one, but now we're pushing a four. And then it wants us to add. So what we need to do is we need to add these two numbers. And when we pop that out, it is, uh, I'll write it up here, four plus one. So almost going backwards. And we don't need to show that uh, work, uh, but it's best to uh, do so to make sure you're doing it correctly. Because uh, popping it incorrectly uh, actually will get you the wrong answer. So then we get another operand. We have 2, 5, and then it wants us to push this 3. And then we have a minus sign. And this is why you want to make sure that you're popping it correctly. So we have, I'll write it right over uh, here. So we have 3, we have our minus sign, and then we have a 5, which gives us a positive 2. So this two is uh, showing from my previous stack. This two is from the operation of five minus three. And then it wants us to do two, mi or two multiplied by two, uh, these two numbers right here, which is four. Now you'll notice this one is worth four marks. The reason it's worth four marks is not because you're getting just the right answer. Getting the right answer is great, but they wanna see how did you get the right answer. They're not gonna give you any marks for the first column because they did that for you. They're not gonna give you any marks here. They wanna see, can you add, do you know what to do, do you know how to push things? So when we look at the answer key here, here's the uh, mark scheme. Let me get rid of this uh, five and three here. So we can see that our column matches up. In the first column, we have two in our first stack. In the second stack, we have two, one. In the next stack, we have two, one, four. Now, the reason this is circled is not because you have it circled. If you look over here at the mark scheme, it says one mark per ring. So we got the point there. So our uh, person grading the test would write plus one. This whole thing right here is worth one mark, which means we have to get five, two, three, five, two, we have to get all of that for one point. So then we get a plus one for both of those. Looking over here, we have to have two and two. We do, we get one for that. And then we have to have four, we get plus one. So using the stack, we're able to work it through, push and pop correctly, update our stack and get the right answer. And out of the 75 total points for this test, we got our four out of four for this uh, part. That's it for solving RPN using stacks. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. We'll see you guys in the next video when we convert RPN back to the original infix form.